Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Left Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you my study of the new nodes um, edge angle. Um, this is new in the latest 3.1 alpha. So with edge angle node, um, you have this value that you can observe and then turn it, uh, you can kind of uh, compare it with another value uh, like an angle. So you can uh, do things like uh, doing like a shade smooth or splitting the edge using this value. So I haven't 100% uh, understand this edge angle uh, thing for now, but this is some of the my uh, experiment. So let's take a look. This is an icosphere, right? Subdivided many times, but you can see um, the smoothness of this uh, face is being disturbed by this edge angle and a value okay so if i if i kind of compare it with a value so everything here will be like a flat shaded but if i compare it with a value some of them will become smooth so we have these interesting variations on this icosphere i think it's more apparent if i have certain number of face so set shade smooth is being disturbed and also I have this split edge the split edge is maybe more visible if I'm using smooth right after it so I'm using smooth and I could use also solidify starting to look uh, a little bit more interesting so that's for this guy and I can pipe this seed value to group input so I can adjust it yeah that's pretty cool how about this guy uh, it's very similar idea so maybe maybe my material is too shiny Okay, let's keep it simple for now so what is this one uh, by default this is actually just another cube but I I have two I have two variant um, which I can control using this switch so it can become itself or become another thing another object currently it's like a grid with solidify um, Let's get resolidify as well. So it's basically like this grid that has been deleted randomly. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like before I did. So I uh, before I did some some fancy stuff. Just a simple grid that's been modified like that. Similar thing if I'm using the monkey head and then I I select this guy and this guy and then command L copy and modifier oops select the monkey and select this guy the last and then command L copy modifier so it's the monkey head become this grid or becomes itself okay this is just a just a random experiment with this guy it's slightly different but I'm also using this edge angle just to randomize the the edge smoothness I think it's not always 100% obvious because this this guy is like a maybe it's just like a square box mm. so maybe I need to subdivide it somehow subdivisions I 
I'm trying to get some result. Okay. This is uh, yeah, this is pretty interesting. So it's I'm getting something. Okay, random value, minimum and maximum. You can see there are some variations there. I think supposedly if, if I just use, instead of using random, if I use a degree, you can see how at some point I should be getting smoothness around the edge. Instead of everything smooth, I want to get just smoothness around certain edge. I don't know, I have to I have to play around with this a little bit more. I just want this edge to be smooth, the rest of them can be flat. Oh well, anyway, random. This is how it looks. With random. Okay, so this is with noise. Actually we don't we don't need to use noise, but noise is always pretty fun to apply into anything. So this is noise textures, and I just uh, normalize the value and then scale it, multiply it, and then just multiply this again with the normal so I can offset this grid. The grid is made of uh, this grid and then there's in this array that I can adjust and I can change uh, with the offset so things like that but you can you can turn anything actually be into itself or just the grid still you know a lot of a lot of things that you can do with this Select this, select this command L copy modifier. So this guy, now the donuts become something completely weird. So a lot of a lot of things uh, like it, when I'm experimenting with geometry nodes, I'm just being like a little bit nerdy with the nodes and then just trying things. Maybe in the future I can use this setup. So that's, that's basically the whole idea. It's the subdivisions. This is, uh, yeah, I mean, just using delete geometry with this random value that's coming from this guy. But maybe, maybe I can also use the edge angle to do the deletions of geometry. I don't know if that's working with the edge. So I don't know if this is actually valid or not. So I'm deleting based on this comparison of value between edge angle and this gradient value. The result is really pretty weird, but try play play around with this. Maybe you, you can come up with something that's actually useful. <laughs> this one is pretty random. Maybe I, we can wireframe it. See, it looks looks weird. You can duplicate. Let me save this array. Uh, maybe we can just also pipe it out. So we have seed. Seed is not. working uh, okay we have to seed we have the switch we have w controlling noise maybe we're gonna pipe this count as well so count so grid count and solidify so this is like a two example of random abstract creations 
you know yeah it's really messy still pretty interesting especially this one you can achieve the same thing look look at the moment this is an icosphere right let's get into this so I'm using icosphere as the geometry but if I'm using monkey head and then subdivide it this is like a combinations of modifier and I use decimate and triangulate we might be able to get a, in, an interesting result this way oops okay in the latest blender 3.1 alpha you get this weirdness it's become black I don't know why the after you triangulate this guy for example you can copy the modifier the geometry modifier so it's become this guy but we don't want it we're gonna try to use itself right so let's get rid of this for now subdivide and actually what I what I want to do is actually uh, remesh so remesh and decimate as triangle so we have kind of like a equi equivalent of triangles along the, the surface and then you can use geometry nodes and assigning it and then you can use smooth so you have this interesting looking crack and then you can see a solidify so it's a, yeah this, this type of experiment is I really like this type of uh, creations it's it's adding this type of uh, this kind of imperfections of on a surface of objects All right, so that's basically what I want to show you. Hopefully you find this interesting and useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.